Who is reading it for me? First Timothy 1 17. Nobody? To the king eternal, immortal. Sir? Sir? Aha. Aha. So, sir, the way that verse ended is my challenge. Repeat your reading, sir. Listen to this, all of you. Now, to the king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God. So, all the attributes you just saw or you just read will be forever. There is no honor and glory that goes to him that is mortal, but to the immortal, to the invisible forever. So, men and brethren, Till we finish here. Thank you, sir. Till we finish here. We serve God that is invisible. How do I see him? How do I relate with him? How do I know when he's moving and at work? How? Invisible. Okay. Can I have another translation? That's King James. Any other translation? Let me hear it. Message. Let's hear it. God is plain to them. For God himself made it plain. Ever since God created the eternal power and his divine nature have been clearly seen. They are perceived in the things that God has made. Good. Now you will not understand that scripture until we also add Luke 19. You may not understand that scripture if we do not add Luke. Okay, let's take let's take Luke 24. Let's take Luke 24. Let's take 27 28 29. Yes. Quick, look 24, 27, 28, 29. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets. He expounded expound unto them in all the scriptures. He expounded unto them in all the scriptures. The things concerning himself. And they drew nigh unto the village. Whither they went, he made as though he would have gone further, but they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. 
Good. Let me stop here for now. If you are with me, say amen. amen. No, you are not with me. If you are with me, say amen. amen. Romans 1.20, where we read, said, For the things concerning him are made manifest. How? I mean the invisible. He said, through the things that he had made. How? Through the things that what? He had made. You can understand the invisible. Hmm. That's sensitive. Through the things that he had made. It can give you eyes to the invisible. Through the things that he had made. You can have eyes to see the things that are invisible and so on the journey to Amos to Amos you remember two disciples on the day that Jesus had already resurrected we are going down to Amos disciples disciples that lived talked slept walked with him but he was now in God mood And God is a spirit. They did not know it was him. As they were just walking, arguing, he joined them from nowhere. I said, what's going on? Why are you, why are your face is like this? Why are you troubled? What's happening? They said, are you the only one? Are you new in this town? So, it's ancient of days you are asking whether he's new. Are you new in this now? Are you the only one that don't know the happening, the recent events from last week? That Jesus, whom they crucified three days ago, who said he was going to resurrect, that they have gone to his tomb and saw nothing, and also the, the uh, uh, chief security men who we are keeping him that have been paid by, by Pharisees and Sadducees are saying that disciples stole his body. The confusion was in the entire city. And you are asking what is going on. The Bible said he turned to them and said, you fools. Ought Christ not to have resurrected? He began to talk. The Bible said he beginning from Moses. Excuse me. He, beginning from who? Moses, expounded unto them things about himself. So that the things that are not seen, if you are focused on the things that he has done around you, you are not understanding it. Oh. Are you, is somebody understanding it? If you focus on the Activities that he's doing around you, you can smell where he's going. You can detect what the invisible wants to do. Because of the things he said concerning himself. Listen, listen to this. I'm going to, I'm going to ask somebody's translation to repeat. Please repeat verse 28. I want, I want up to five translations now. Give me verse 28, beginning from King James. 28, 28, anybody? Yes, sir. 28, verse 28, Luke 24. Somebody is reading already. Let's take you, sir. This time, listen to this. Uh, is this new King James? NLT, I know, is not King James. Okay. For this time... They were coming near to Amos, Amos house. At the end of their journey. Jesus acted as now, Jesus acted as if he were going on. Okay, King James. Is that King James you wanted to read, man? 
Please read it. They drew near to the village whither they went. And he made as though. Now, somebody look up. What is going on here? What is going on? Acting. Is he not? Is he not? Uh, is Jesus not doing drama here? They drew near to Amos. See Amos. So he wants to enter with them. He wants to show them his. Listen to this. I love this scripture. They approached them. <laughs> That's where he's going, you know. And he acted as if you were going for that. What kind of drama is this? He just pretended. He, was just, he just kept his face like this. And was stopping boss going somewhere else. Now listen. They now turned. This is, this is where I'm going, sir. They now turned and the word constrain is a sign is coming from a man of understanding. They had not fully known who they were dealing with. But from the things he had made, from the things he said on the way, you are not following Romans 1. Are you getting Romans 1? From the things that we are made, you can see the invisible. Focus your eyes on the activities, the demands, the instructions, the testimonies that he has wrought around your life. You will see that you can tell what God wants to do. From them, you can be able to know what you need to do now to assess God. When help comes, you won't be confused as to miss your hour of visitation. It's not plain. It's not clear. Somebody is wondering, why are you taking this step? You say, well, there are things that he expounded why we are coming, beginning from Moses. They said, sir, follow us in, please. He now, he now said, this, and this last boss to really now. Oh, follow you put in. I'm not sure. I don't like disturbing people. Oh, oh really? <laughs> what kind of drama is this? He's acting. Oh. He wants to know if by the things he had made known already, you are not following me. Because Romans 1 has made it clear. Is that not what we just read? That the things that are invisible, God kept clue to the invisible. Clues to reaching, knowing, accessing the invisible. He kept the clues in the things. For example, when he says, I am the lion of Judah, he created lion. So that by the character of the lion in the zoo or in the forest, you could tell how God moves. So you come to the place of prayer. The lion of Judah. We don't know if the shape is like a lion actually. Roar on my behalf. How are you sporing the invisible to walk around you? You are using that which is known. So somebody wants to say, Kai, this man is mysterious. How did he just bring out this prayer point like that? The key is that you assessed that. You focused, paid attention to that which has been going on. For some time, he's demanding fasting from me. Demanding this, this, this. You check all the activities around your life. You study it around the men he has helped. And you can detect... You can tell by the spirit where the next wind will blow. So,
So by the things he expanded, they constrained him to enter. Are we together, brethren? Oh, talk to me. Are we together? So when he came in, they still had not full knowledge. Another chapter needed to open. They took their bait and brought her bread. And gave him bread. While he was breaking the bread. The Bible said, and he opened their understanding. Their eyes. He opened. And he opened. I'm not me. I'm not I'm not be open. All I know is that there is something he did. We ah, our Lord and our God. Bam, he disappeared. The other one touched his brother. So lo lo lo. Hey. No wonder. My heart was burning when he was talking. He said that's one of the reasons why I did not allow him to move further. They used what he already did to get the invisible. If I am correct, if I am accurate with the record, they should be the second set of persons who beheld Christ after Mary. That's why they had to put that journey down. There is nothing so ambiguous about that journey to Emmazar that they separated two disciples and just put the encounter. They, they wrote it. What are they writing it down for? It was the honor to their eyes. It was not the Christ that died. What resurrected is wearing something else. When Mary saw him, the Bible says she supposed him to be a gardener. When Mary saw him, she thought he was only an apple flower. Only an apple flower, Mary. Who knows what I feel now, Kuzilun? Only an apple flower. Woman, what seekest thou? I say, be, 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 be. Ara, mama. If the, if you are the one that stole away the body of my Lord, that's the Lord, though. I want to see Jesus. Is it? It's just that he's merciful. If not, what some of us have done to God, he has come, he has passed you. There is nobody here, he has not come around your corner. What some of us have done to God, he should not come, he is not supposed to come back again. Some of you dead with him. Some of you spat on his face. Before I come back to this, one sister, my father and the Lord told us that one sister insulted a missionary. The missionary came to their village and was always running after her. Running after her. To, the, every time the missionary said, you are, you are gifted. Very loose girl. She was sleeping with everybody in the village. The missionary was running after her with his bicycle. Another day he saw her. He rode his bicycle, rode his bicycle, rode his bicycle, ran after her. Because he gave your life to Christ. She did. Tick one. The missionary, the missionary did like it. And said, Ngozi, you must serve God, but men will pour spit on you. Out of anger, she tore her cloth, tore her bra, and started shouting. Pastor Nyaluluana, hey, he wants to rape me. People gathered and beat the man messless, packed his bag, and threw him out of their village. I said, because of some of us who you prayed and God healed their children. If not, we'll kill you here. 
some thoughts were angry because it's in Gozi they used to lachara. The missionary want to come and they, they push them away. It did not take long. About a year plus, she got born again. <laughs> hey, God. Uh, and started suffering. The sister said, I suffered. Everything I touched was iron. Nothing was moving. The only thing that moves is Holy Ghost. If she comes here to minister, Holy Ghost is at to ensure her that she's born again. One day she went on set apart and was crying. Lord! Foundation. God said, it's not found. It's foundation, but it's not foundation. It's not that foundation. You know, God came to her and said, you spat on me. He said, the spirit has not dried. When the spirit dry, air will start blowing for you. You spat on me. You spat on me. You spat on me. Two ladies I was trying to warn those years, I was still a campus boy, much more smaller, but God was at work. So, a lot of people, many people trampled on me. Hi! There is no kind of insult I did not see. Some churches, many churches dealt with me. It's when I got married, I added body small. This body I added. Some insults started stopping. If you see me, <laughs> I was like, what? But what was inside me? The, the fire that is breathing out. So it was, God used my wife to show me small mercy. So I just put this small body you are seeing. Some insults died down. If I just appear, and my face then was very fair. Very handsome. <laughs> my lips pure red. So when I come up to pre before, when I come, people will say, ah, ah, are you? Will you get away? We say we should you should, you should call the main man of God that you are. <laughs> There's nothing like one cat kissed finished me. When I came, he said, Bia, church here. He had taught you Dean, sub Dean. Kick and does in a time you invite you and want because I'm going to give you my In a gent, Usoloka, Iluebeni, Ikunetiti, Chico Baggy, Ibawa, in Liverpool. Yes, sir, 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 yes, See um why um why be here never um why each a white ever for see a shift work can buy it. When I came up, me I don't have problem. Oh, do anything to me. When I come up, you will you will know where my calling lies. There is nothing I'm doing with recognition in the flesh. What are we doing with that? Neymaka, Atalugo, and you are doing like it doesn't have. It doesn't have implication. Chalugo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is the implication? What can you do when, you, when your child is sick? What is the relevance to your calling and ministry? To your environment? Is it not a problem that people that should go to work when they begin to look at you and they can't go to work again, are you not a menace to our generation? When I came up, I spoke for 10 minutes. I spoke the first 10 minutes. The, you know, you are, this is the Anglican church now. Sunday service. Message is no more than 30 minutes. I spoke going to two hours plus. Nobody could hold the church. Nobody could control. Nobody to, could take the mic. Cat kissed. Woke up from the Holy Ghost. And saw his wife still groaning in the Holy Ghost. Hey! The man shouted. Say, what have I done? <laughs> 
When I finished, he rushed my Bible. I said, leave my Bible. Leave my Bible. Leave my Bible. Did you carry it? Leave my Bible. <laughs> Catholic is Rabbalon Bible. He you now you know wanted to give me another seat. I, for where? Trust me now. I went and told those women to shoot. They say no, that I should not sit here. I said, I must sit here. I must sit here. I said, I must sit here. He told the wife, he said, run. The woman ran inside their quarters and brought Zobo and brought many bribe. <laughs> when I saw the brokenness of the woman, because she didn't do anything. I wanted to deal with cat kids more, but who am I? <laughs> I said, Prince of Seven of Okuja with Takuna. You know me, ma'am. I've seen it. I've, I've seen it in all colors. I've seen it in many shapes. I've, I've suffered it for years. Two young ladies were, when I rebuked them, they, uh, they insulted me. Both of them. That night, they called me around 4 a.m. I used to have a roommate then at Oka before we went down to medical school at Newe. My roommate picked my phone when he kept disturbing and told them that I was praying. I was lost in the Holy Ghost. I was praying. They said they would call back. They called back around 5.30 a.m. By then, I had just summarized my prayers. They called back. and said, sir, we are sorry. That both of them slept. This thing happened around 11 p.m. This one slept. This one slept. And both of them woke up at the same time with the same dream. This one woke up in shock. This one woke up in shock. Why is your face like this? Why is your face like this? Look at what I saw. Look at the same thing. Both of them saw where God came to them in the dream. And said, if you have anybody to call, call the person. Both of you will end tomorrow. He said the journey, the first bus you will enter tomorrow will crash because of both of you. You, you lifted up your lips against me. Lord, we did not cause you. They said they call you. God said they call you answered 11 p.m. You spoke to me. You insulted me and called me names. God said, I'm giving you a chance so that you don't, you don't perish in eternity. Settle yourself. Call your people. None of you will live tomorrow. In fear and trembling, they woke up and started calling me. I said, am I your people? So I started crying. I started praying. I started pleading with the Lord. It was a traditional marriage they were going for the next day. And it was part of what brought the matter that I was trying to address. After I prayed, they gathered confidence. I blessed them. They entered boss. The boss crashed. Nothing happened to them. God came and said, I just want to tell you that I was not joking. Everybody came out fine. She said the accident that she could not believe it. God just came to them and said, I just want to tell you that I was not joking. Ah, it's for the invisible. These two disciples that day would have missed God. There's another scripture I would have read, but I won't read it. Let me just say it because we are going to pray now. So many, so many of them, so many of them. General Naaman, for example, that should be First Kings chapter 5. Is that first or second? Kings chapter 5. General Naaman, the general of Syria. I don't know why God just decided to show a Syrian mercy. I don't know. I don't know. At times you just see God act in certain ways. You just have to have the eyes to understand. My friend, understand. A girl on legging with all the lines of the under we are showing. The hand of God can come on that girl at an instant. If you look at what she's wearing, you will miss it. You 
you will miss it. You will just miss it. At times, God may, God laid hands on Nebuchadnezzar. He said, Nebuchadnezzar, my servant, I will use him to trash Israel. When he finished, he turned to, when he came out of Nebuchadnezzar, he said, because you were not merciful, Because you handled Israel with, he said, I will deal with Babylon. Ah! What is your own? <laughs> this is the sovereignty of God. You can't query it. You can't, if you ask too much question, he will summarize you. You can't query it. You can't question it. You can't argue it. You can't doubt it. You can't disbelieve it. It is the sovereignty of God. Having all power, deserving all majesty, receiving all honor, discharging all authority. It is the sovereignty of God. God came into one Jewish made you know they had just captured the Jews you remember Babylon the 70 years of captivity of Israel one Jewish maid a Hebrew girl small girl in chapter 5 one day something came on the girl and it was God she went to a madam in the kitchen and said mommy he said he said or God just finished baiting and he was passing with towel. Accidentally, as I was passing, I saw that his whole body was white. He said, If he join you, put a blue. You won't shut that to your mouth. He said, Mommy, listen. You know, when God is using a man, you can't shout him down. He said, Mommy, listen. If only daddy, daddy leprosy, shh. If only he can, he will go to Israel. He will be cured of his leprosy. There is a man of God there. Now listen. That woman saw it. If that woman did not see that thing, they would dismiss it that Akukumas. The healing of the general Naaman came from the mouth of a child in a kitchen. It was not it. It did not come in prophetic hour from a renowned man from from Suleiman, prophet, apostle. Mm -mm. That's why I told you you may not know how many times you've missed your visitation, your helper and your help, because you lacked eyes. For the invisible. You know, I didn't have time. I wanted to show you another scripture where the Bible was saying, For all the things in the invisible Godhead, the, all the invisible things of God, he said he expressed in his son. So, that's what Romans was talking about, that we could see from the things he did. From, that, from studying the life of Jesus, you can lay hold on what God wants. How God moves. Confirm? By the things he did, just concentrating on what kind of life did the son live? Moses, Bible confirmed to us in Hebrews, endured, endured, because he saw 
Moses forsook the pleasure of Egypt because he saw the invisible. There are things you will not leave. There are pleasures, mess that the day thy eyes will see. What the invisible holds for your calling, for your future, you will forsake it. For now that you have not seen it. For now that you have not seen it. When we say stop it, you say, For now that you have not seen it, stop it. I can't break her heart. I can't break his heart. I love him. You are talking like that because you are, you are yet blind. That's how the thing started. The woman went and told Naaman. Naaman went and told the king of Syria. The king of Syria picked up pen and wrote to the king of Israel. Is that not Aha? I'm sending my general to you. You know, then they were dominating Israel. I'm sending my general to you. Heal him or else. That Otondo received the letter. Who, who doesn't fear God? He, he, he says, see how this man. <laughs> he was crying in the palace. You people see trouble now. He just want to use time to cause war. And finish me again. Why is he asking me to heal a leper? Am I God? Elisha had it in his house. Men that carry antenna. He had it in his house. He said, go and tell the king of Israel to send him to me. Bring him here. When he came, 21 God said, bring it here, bring it here, bring it here. Then, Elijah sat inside his room having quiet time. He said, go and tell the leper. Hey! <laughs> That's God talking. Yeah? You, you won't understand what I'm saying. Until a general visits you. That's when you understand that nobody in the flesh can do that. Nobody. No. <laughs> it will take God hanging on a man. It will take. I was coming back one day and I entered the same flight. I don't know where I went to. We landed at Asaba. When my flight landed, I saw, I saw, I saw roll. I saw men, DSS, six here, six here. I, just at the end, just at the uh, exit where we are going to leave. Six years, six years. So luckily, the machine brought out my bag first. So I picked my bag. Newscasters, camera, video, you know, channels, t t television channels everywhere. Ah, as I was coming, I said, eh? Ah, 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 ah. I said, see me, see you. Am I the one they came to welcome like this? God, you are faithful, oh. This is how you have promoted your servant overnight. Mm -hmm. As I was coming, they did not sight me very well. So from afar, all of them did like this. When they saw my face, <laughs> if you see the hissing, they were bringing, people who snapped started deleting it from their television channel. They were telling the people, sorry, sorry, we are not broadcasting yet. So I said, whether well, I like them or not, I don't chop the Sally. I don't chop up. So, <laughs> when, I, when I passed, the brother that came to pick me, I now said, wait, let me know who is that? I said, wait, don't go. I, you know, I'm sensitive, so I used, to, I used to watch things. I said, let me know. It was white money. There was one boy who won Big Brother Niger that year. It was... Is it last year or last two years? Last year. Is that last year? That one big brother, Niger, with beers and he did his hair somehow. He was one that came out and they started throwing salutes, started snapping, started doing, started doing. people rushed. Oh my God, oh my God, what money? Let us snap. I said, ah, now I understand scriptures. The Bible said, and he came to his own and his own knew him not. Between me and white money, who should these people salute? I don't care what you think. All I know is that greater is he that is in me. White money, if white money enters, we have entered, they will bury him. 
if he stands in front of shrines that have stood in front, if he, con if he contends with powers that the hand of God upon my life has contended with, they will bury him tomorrow. He will not wake up alive. He can't even try it. Even forests where we have entered the missions, he can't try it. He can't try it. Something that when I'm carrying brothers that have prayed with me, they, the presence makes some people shake. That are living in my estates and corner, they don't put sacrifice where I pass again. It was na na the labor that um, that we are running. It be alwe na the labor. Instruments ni ne aje me drama before the chuaja. I could see go me um I come so unke bata unke unke bata one day. Sim daddy, ke come see fuka labasha. See I know the sharp, all the sharp. Give me some. I see nanda chuaja ni seven. You see I because see nyachaya wulia. Aje me drama. Oh June asto aje me drama. Yeji chuaja. Bia me bia ba bia ya fia. Ito mpo puta si aje yeji chuaja. Yeji chuaja. So onye na chuse aje ona apa. Ona. Ufodo ufodo abu na ma abu ni ken jali to adrom. I will crush it. Especially when I see it within my street. You don't try it. There's a commander in this territory. You don't try it within my street. I will crush it. Go back. Crush it again. Go crush it. I crush it into pieces. Now I understand what Jesus meant when he was saying and his own knew him not. I passed here. I carried God and passed here. These people deleted the picture. Eh? And withdrew their salute. White money. Fornicated. Kissed and romanced somebody in Big Brother Niger. Played games and won. And they saluted him. Is the nation where is that that's man for you? Eh? That's man for you. I finished ministry in one church and they were begging me. They said, Sir, please manage us. Eh? Manage us. Eh? Our church people. It's not that they don't have money, but it's your type of person. They don't, the people, he said the other time, we never, when we knew that this church had money, is the other, one prophet came. And his message was Ajanu. Ajanu. Pa! Jehovah Ajan! See your neighbor! Jehovah Ajan! Jehovah Ajan! Oh God, don't have vam, vam, vam. Mado neji 50,000 neighbor. Boros obia. Ajanu apwa. Ajanu apwa. Ajanu apwa. Mado neji 50,000 neighbor. Ebembia for four days. Labor does Mandi chine ke gwa. Ina na. Ewan oge. God bless you. Ma watermelon are from. Ajanu bia. I've signed my heart. That's it. God trained me well. You see, my origin, God fried my stomach so that nobody will use it as a hook. Bills to pay. School fees to pay. Rents to pay. But our help comes from the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Our duty is just. In fact write it down. The eyes of sensitivity. You know I briefed you yesterday. Yes. I'm summarizing. I briefed you yesterday. That the woman of Zarephath. We, we, is Shunammite. Shunammite. Saw Elisha passing. You know, I talked about Elisha's part yesterday. I didn't talk about the woman's part. And said to her husband, Sir, I perceive. It is the eye of sensitivity. Let me summarize. I'm not going to say that I'm going to take a money section. I'm going to go to the money section. 